you know, we use the word very special, superstar, all that sometimes a little too loosely. But, you know, today we have a really special guest and we have a superstar uh, who we'll be conversing with. He's literally multifaceted, multi-talented, and he's reinvented himself many times. It's my honor and privilege to welcome Mr. Sunil Shetty to this BW Dialogue. Uh, welcome, Mr. Shetty. Uh, Thank you uh, very much. Thank I'm you. I'm so delighted that we are having a conversation. Uh, last time I met you, I, it was in your office and, you know, we had a good conversation. So, how have Very you good. I, I'd say very good conversation because I, I, uh, I always tell Amit that also, that, you know, this is one man who's pleasant and is so positive. That's the beauty about you. You know, and uh, and that's why you don't mind talking to people who you know are going to present you the way you want to be presented and th truth to be told as it should be, which is which is fantastic. So I'm uh, as happy as you are to be on the show. Thank you so much. And uh, you're very kind and uh, being kind is more important than anything else. How have been the last 120 days for you? What has kept you busy and how have you made it focused? Uh, focused it has been. Uh, learned a lot, a uh, lot that I've realized, uh, whether it's disparity, it's the rich bringing in uh, this from China and delivering it to the poor and then us complaining that uh, people don't have a sense of social distancing, want to get onto the streets, uh, uh, not realizing that uh, even social distancing is a luxury, a luxury for these very people. When you stay in a 10 by 10, uh, there can't be social distancing because even if you take six feet, it's probably two people who can who can manage that in a home. But uh, uh, so you know, a lot of learnings. I, I I've realized that you know I always believed I was a very honest man and I did everything right because I paid my staff on time, kept them happy. They've been with me for twenty five years, thirty years, forty years, uh, but still realized that there's a lot of injustice that has been done to them because they don't deserve so, so little. They deserve a lot, lot more. There has to be a lot, lot more equality. And those are the few things that, that, that I definitely realized and how important, that they mean, how important they mean to you, whether it's your driver or whether it's your staff or service help that is there or kids who are working for you in office. Also made me realize that uh, at a, a time like this, what we as entrepreneurs need to do is make sure that we bring on five more kids once the pandemic is over rather than remove 25 of them. You know, so that's been my focus. And that's what I've been telling my kids. Work hard because I depend on you completely. More so, I've realized it now. So work hard because the people who haven't been working are the people who are going to be losing their jobs. People who don't have the confidence and don't know their craft are the ones who are going to be losing their jobs. So if you know and believe that you're, you're strong enough and uh, you can help the company grow, we need people like you. Uh, apart from that, yes, focused on, uh, on I've realized that tech is the be all and end all of everything, but also realized tech, last mile human touch is what is going to finally work uh, brilliantly also. It's not going to be all tech tech. So though I wasn't a very uh, big, uh, a very big fan of tech or not, uh, that I did have tremendous knowledge, though I ran a tech company, uh, you know, when it came to casting, uh, that's where my focus went. Because I'm a part of the film industry and I realize that kids have all gone back to their own homes. Their dream of wanting to make it big in the media business has fallen flat since the last three, four days. How do I connect these people with the producers, directors and tell them that they are alive? And that's where ftctalent.com, uh, we started working on it uh, more. We put out a film challenge and said, you know what? Uh, uh, there was no monies to be made, but I said, uh, there's a lot to take away. I had 30, 35 brands that came on board and we did a, a film challenge uh, from uh, shoot a film from your own home and deliver. And we had more than 1500 films that came from 19 countries and 168 cities that showed that this world will always stay alive and will always fight. Connected producers to actors taught them what, uh, you know, auditioning online means educated them on how to take the light, how to build that confidence and taught producers that, you know what, they don't, kids don't need to come here. Give them an opportunity and they'll travel. Let them stay home. Let them stay with their parents. Let them educate themselves. And talent is available anywhere and everywhere. So trying to bridge this gap between recruiter and job seeker uh, in the media business, create a marketplace. So been focused on uh, FTC. Uh, so you made... Uh a problem into an opportunity and 
try to serve people. Now Absolutely. we're talking about ftctailing.com uh, in the backdrop of you know this debate about nepotism in Bollywood of there being favoritism, there being you know gangs, so to say. And uh, so what in some way ftctailing.com democratizes entry at the you know base level. So tell Absolutely. us. Uh, Tell us, you started this last year, so you were in some way you thought it was needed. When we talk to you next year, uh, where do you think FTC talent would be, and what is your take on uh, democratization of talent entry into Bollywood? I think uh, it's always been that way, uh, you know. But like in all businesses, there are certain groups and certain people who believe that uh, you know uh, what 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 they see is only talent. Uh, I had a tough time when I came in. Uh, people didn't realize that my first film called Arzu, uh, produced by Palaj Nilani and directed by a very close friend of mine, was complete, 99% complete. Uh, uh, and then it got shelved because there was a problem between the producer and director. And egos got into the way and, uh, and uh, the film had to be dropped. Uh, I had no career left. Then I had another film that was announced called Ekor Falad with tremendous fanfare. And then that, that didn't happen. I signed Balwan. And then I signed, I signed Waktamara actually, which was my first film with uh, Sajid Nadiadwala. And then Balwan happened, which was a solo film. Uh, so my journey started probably in uh, 1989, 88, 89. My first break, my release came on 9 11, 1992. Four years I struggled, a non filmy background, knowing nothing, a South Indian boy trying to make it in a Hindi dominated film industry. I got an opportunity. That's because I believed in myself. I knew I had one skill that was extraordinary and that was action and the guts to do that defying stunts. When they saw Sunil Shetty's stunts is when they said, shit, this guy is different. I had an audience for myself. And once you have an audience for yourself, nobody, no group, no party, no critic, nobody can touch you. Because finally, the Messiahs are the audiences and they make you the superstars or stars that you, that, that you finally become. So I honestly believe that this talk doesn't have, have too much weight. You know, people who are, who have, are probably people who, who give up too early are the ones who are complaining about this. I mean, when we talk about children and school, when you talk about your child's admission, you want, him to, get, you want to get him into the best school and you do anything possible to get him there. Beg, borrow, steal, influence, political, uh, any kind of club. Does, isn't, isn't that nepotism? Why, aren't you taking away uh, some other child who deserves his position there? So what are we talking about? You know, all of us, all across the world, this happens. Every empire is handed over to, uh, to the next gen. So it's very unfair that, that Bollywood is the only place that is, uh, that is targeted. I mean, how many opportunities? I got that opportunity in Bollywood after three years or four years. The critique, one of the top critiques at that time, who dictated with one of the top papers, that, an only paper that mattered then, kept writing Sunil Shetty's wooden. He should go back to his restaurant and work. He broke me every single day. Went to the extent of writing that my mother did, doesn't pay the milkman uh, even after becoming a star. When I owned restaurants and milk came from my restaurant, so I didn't need to pay. You know, But he, he broke me every time. But where is he today? He made his own films. He made two or three films. Absolute disaster. Doesn't have work today. Nobody recognizes him. He was the god. But the pen is never mightier than the sword. You know, and don't use that pen like a sword. So this is a lesson to everybody and anybody. Today, the media is having a, a, a heyday making fun of uh, Bollywood and everything that is happening here, which is unfair. Aren't you looking at TRPs then? You know, so let and just to support you, even in media, there are entrenched players who don't like anybody new coming in. It happens Absolutely. in every sector. Absolutely. And why do you think I'm talking to you and you're talking about nepotism? I'm more than willing to talk. Why? Because I know I'm going to be represented right. So there is a comfort level that we also have that you can't go on trashing people. Every kid who's crying that, oh, this is happening, that is happening. Somewhere got an opportunity in this industry and made it. So let's be indebted. To, to, to what is feeding us, what our bread and butter is. There are thousands of people. Art, uh, it's not only about acting. It's about light men, other craftsmen, directors, assistants, millions of kids who are getting 
uh, you know, who, 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 who losing everything thanks to the this debate that is uh, happening. Anybody ask me, I say I've got two lakh seventy two uh, two lakh seventy two thousand children. Atia Ahan and the two lakh seventy two thousand that are on FTC. I'm trying every day to give give kids an opportunity. So who has to come forward to support me? Recruiters have to come forward to support me, saying yes, we are casting. We did a film uh, called Moti Chu Chakna Chu in uh, uh, last year, and we cast for that. Ninety percent of the talent was from Bhopal, and what talent! If if today if it's running on Netflix, anybody and everybody says what a film, what actors? Where did it come from? It came from Bhopal. That's because we gave the kids there an opportunity, you know, and that's what FTC talent is all about. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. So let's not talk nepotism. Not let's not talk. Uh, uh, you know that uh, that it only exists in the industry. We're not as bad as uh, we are made out to be. Uh, social media uh, has has carved out actors and kept actors away from. Uh, you know, fear has has been set into them, and they don't want to talk and they don't want to support each other. You know, today, when at times when we were being badgered for something that we weren't responsible, we had our industry come forward. We had 18 associations and one federation that stood for us. Today, there's so much fear that these associations are also saying, what is happening? Why is it happening? You know, and we are going through the worst phase of our life. I mean, every country in the world invites uh, Indian cinema to come shoot there, push it for tourism. Why are we wanting to destroy it? I, you know, I, I pray and I beg that uh, it's being misunderstood and that shouldn't happen. Let's not divide, but but rather unite. You know, because there are 11, 12 uh, 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 states that are making films in 11, 12 different languages, all doing well. Why are we complaining? Thank you so much. Because I've had previous conversations off camera. What I can only say is that what you say on camera and off camera are pretty much same. Um, that's the kind of sentiment. Your own story that you never got, I mean, you, you struggled, but you made yeah, it. You absolutely. believed in yourself. So it's the responsibility of the individual to find True. a way to stay True. in the game long enough. That is what uh, Sunil Shetty is saying to everyone, that the responsibility to be successful or to make it is yours. You have to find the way. And there are enough people and enough avenues uh, for you to make it. That's what Absolutely. he's saying. And that's what he's doing with ftctailing.com. So uh, uh, congratulations to you. I know Thank you brought you. in Thank a you, senior sir. management team at FTC. Tell us a bit about the team you brought in at FTC. See, FTC has got a lot of uh, uh, people from the media, a lot of newcomers, a lot of, lot of kids. Like even today, this morning, when I was talking to the, to the kids uh, at FTC, I said, now, what do we give? What do we give? Because the times are troubled times. So, you know, let's, let's give something. So I've got brands today, brands today that are associated with cinema that are coming forward and saying 50% off, 60% off. So trying to also give the kids, provide for these kids, you know, better packages for, for photo shoots, better packages to educate themselves, better packages to keep themselves beautiful, better packages for everything. So we have a very, very professional team when it comes to the CEO of it, uh, who's, who's, who's an ex-media uh, uh, head, Mr. Omar Qureshi, down the line, some very, very interesting people, teachers, uh, marketing heads, uh, you know, and, and trying to create an adda where, where, where these kids can probably hang out, struggle, and, and uh, uh, help them with their journey ahead. Uh, I believe talent kahi bhi dikta hai. So the working today now is trying to find the right franchises as offline partners who try set up uh, uh, centers all over the country, educating the kids and also giving them jobs where they are. I want producers to believe that aapko, aapki main talent aapne sign kar di. Baki sara talent aap ja, jis state mein aap shoot karo ge, waa ja ke shoot karo. So the tourism boards also I want them to come forward, put up their locations on our platforms, put the hotels, the logistics, cars, hotel, food, all should be local. So Mumbai, when it travels or a Hindi film, when it travels to another city, it uses the beauty of that city and the infrastructure of that city to complete the film, thereby cost effective, thereby giving jobs to everybody uh, in that industry. So if a, if a director is moving out to do a, a film somewhere, and he needs five assistants. 
take three from uh, Mumbai and take the other two from the local area that, uh, that you're going to be shooting in. That means those kids are also aware their talent is being brushed. They are getting work and we're talking about work for everybody, you know, and that's the whole idea. And, and for me, uh, the push in FTC is shoot in India, be very, very vocal about local shoot in India, talk about Indian talent, talk about everything to do with India. Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful. In some way, what Mr. Shetty is saying is that he's building a marketplace for talent. He's building a marketplace for content. Uh, FTC can take on many roles as it grows and it makes an impact on this ecosystem. We are also doing, like you said, uh, Anuragji, we are also uh, encouraging uh, uh, brands, you know, because it's a time of digital. Everybody's lost a lot of money, uh, can't afford uh, too much for advertising. So what we're saying is your ideas, your thoughts, give it to us. We put it on the platform and we get two and a half lakh kids to give in their creative to create a, a, a campaign for you. So user generated content is going to become very, very big. And who are our partners in this? Our platform is definitely being used, but the creative person gets money sitting at home. And that's what we are managing to do. We've got a lot of brands that are coming forward and saying, you know, creative ideas, advertising ideas, concept, content ideas, we are taking from the platform. So this marketplace is the place that I'm giving the jobs to, you know, rather than focused on X, Y, and Z. Uh, so, so where is nepotism there in this? I'm opening it out to anybody and everybody. It's democratized. Yeah, the best absolutely. idea wins. The most efficient uh, business bid wins. You know, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's absolutely. how it is. Yeah. Uh, and you could be running your place from this little place anywhere in the country. And that's the kind of films we've got. Like I said, the 1500 film short films, if you have a look at it, you'll say, wow, this has come from this center. And these kind of kids are thinking that way with their own little smart mobile phones, with sitting at home, with social distancing. So we managed some amazing things. Mr. Shetty, you write at the upfront set that uh, you believed in yourself, you struggled, uh, but you kept going. Uh, yeah. We're talking in the backdrop of Corona. Resilience is the single most uh, quality needed to be an entrepreneur. It is the single most quality needed to succeed in anything in life. Tell us a bit about resilience. Tell us about, you've told us a few stories about resilience right at the start, about your two movies that didn't happen. Uh, tell us uh, what has made you resilient uh, and how, is there a playbook to being resilient? No, I think it's, it's, it's belief in yourself. Like they always say, uh, uh, so I think, uh, you know, coming from a very simple background, my father came to Mumbai when he was nine, uh, started cleaning a table because he wanted to feed himself in a restaurant, uh, probably walked around all four corners of the table to clean the table right to the center because he couldn't reach. He was that little, went on to work as, as, as a kitchen boy, then went, went on to work as an assistant waiter, waiter, manager and then bought the restaurants that he was working. The, the owner sold it to him because he didn't have any kids. So for me, he's been my hero. And that's what I've learned, you know, never be embarrassed or ashamed of doing anything. I never did. Even on the sets, nobody's there. I'm generally the first one on the sets. I'll pick up my chair, clean my table, sit down, put my headphones on and do my bit that I'm doing. Wait for people. Don't complain. I don't complain. I never, you will never catch me complaining even if I have to wait for hours because there is a problem. And that is why it's happening. Nobody, no producer does it intentionally. No producer does it to mess them. So number one, you've got to believe in yourself. Number two, you have to believe half full or half empty. You know, and that's the mindset. For me, uh, uh, Corona, suddenly you, you talk about people not going to hospitals. People, you talk to a doctor, you talk to the insurance agency and they'll say, nobody's come back claiming anything. You know, those who have been unfortunate and, and ha have had the virus, have really uh, fought and got out of it. But the others, all of us haven't, uh, haven't done anything. Why is that? Because we've started eating at home. We've built our immune uh, systems. We're eating hot. We're not dumping it into the refrigerator. We value money. We value food. We value everything now. We value our staff. All of us have suddenly become hygienic. hygienic. And, but then Ayurveda always had this. 
हाथ धो लो प्लेट को साफ कर लो नहा के आ जाओ खाना खाने से पहले बैठ कर खाना खाओ आराम से खाना चबाओ अः आप प्लेट साफ करते हो तो थोड़ी बहुत अः पानी भी छिड़क देते हो आजू बाजू में वो क्यों है क्योंकि वो बैक्टीरिया को दूर रखती है आप मंदिरों में जाते हो तो लोग जो तीर्थ है वो पंडित जो है उड़ाता ही है क्यों क्योंकि आप उस एरिया को शुद्ध करते हो तो ये सब चीजें वापस आ गई है सो दैट्स हाउ यू बिल्ड योर पर्सनल रिजल्ट एंड इम्यूनिटी आल्सो वी स्टार्टेड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ आर सेल्स वी वांट वी नेवर ऑफर्ड आर सेल्स मी टाइम इफ यू गिव योर सेल्फ दैट मी टाइम दैट हाफ एन आवर वन ऑफ वन आवर वी स्टार्टेड वॉकिंग आई मीन यू योरसेल्फ यू सी योर पिक्चर फ्रॉम 6 मंथ्स अगो एंड सी योर पिक्चर नाउ एंड यू विल से क्राइस्ट यार देयर इज सच अ डिफरेंस इन मी व्हिच वी नेवर नोटिसड अर्लियर but we started do that's because we become conscious so consciously if we do something anything and everything is achievable definitely achievable you know okay mr shetty uh, uh, you invest in other entrepreneurs you mentor entrepreneurs uh, when you work with entrepreneurs uh, or choose them you know many people approach you but uh, you are follow a process of in some way filtering them and yeah uh, absolutely uh, and working with them uh what do you see in an entrepreneur that makes you work with them you have partnerships and investments in the healthcare health tech some you're in education and so on and so forth so give us uh, when you meet an entrepreneur apart from the quality of the idea maybe if the execution has happened the quality of execution what else do you look for in an entrepreneur how important is the cultural fit uh, how important is the interpersonal energy that you get uh, how do you gauge that this person is going to do what he or she says uh, and possibly i can add value I, you know the thing is first of all how honest that individual is you know uh, there is a knack in me where i where somewhere down the line i understand the honesty of an individual uh, how much what they're doing means to them what is their uh, possible lifestyle you know i i honestly believe early to bed early to rise is the first first must that there should be when it comes to an entrepreneur because i i i believe that uh, you know when your day starts early even by mid afternoon you're done with 90% of the work that you need to do for the day and uh, that's what we've been seeing even now there are no excuses when it comes to traffic there's no excuses of delay in meetings i mean i i think i was as anxious as as anybody would be to get on to the chat with you and i was hoping that i was not even a minute late you know but at the same time testing whether because it's tech that whether it does so you need to be anxious about uh, what you're doing you need to be conscious about what you're doing that that anxiety should be there that good positive anxiety should be there to make things successful you should be willing to work and work hard it's never about even when i take on a brand it's never about the money but it's the commitment that the people have towards the brand what is the quality that they are delivering so quality is something that i definitely 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 look into honesty into. quality hard Absolute. work uh, you know old school old school you know for me it's not about 100 divisions but an individual willing to jump into a crisis situation and being able to manage that crisis you know and and that is very very important you should know your craft you should know your business because i won't know it i i might help you market it right i might add a lot of uh, value from an honesty perspective to you believing in the brand today when they say sunil shetty most of them will also say ki yeah, he is an honest guy you know he's a nice guy I always said that that's that's the kind of image i probably want to get out from the industry success failure comes and goes you know with age everything whether it's an athlete whether it's a sportsman whether it's your businessman you will have a peak and then the youngsters will will take up so i have no insecurity there but this is what i look for in this that yes uh, come a rainy day and i know this kid will be able to handle the entire thing by himself and and, and strongly and then yes the product and you know how good it is what uh, what is the market for, for for that very product and even if there is competition uh where 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 can we excel uh, not not demeaning anybody not running down anybody but focusing on what we are doing and moving forward you know okay uh now you're a very serious health enthusiast so you a mind body soul kind of you talk about Absolutely. early to bed early to rise talk Absolutely. about walking talk yourself now there is a certain you need if you want to be healthy uh 
Now that discipline also percolates in every sphere of work that you do. Tell us a bit about the connect between the two. Absolutely, because uh, you know you can't. You, you, uh, they say a healthy body uh, breeds a healthy mind, and vice versa. Uh, uh, but for me, a healthy body that breeds a healthy mind, and that is because uh, you, you know I, I I run clockwork. I run clockwork. Everything happens from time to time. It is it is for any even if it's for any machine, even if it's a car. If you maintain it right, is the only way that you can reach your destination. So. Right. So for me, waking up early, doing my bit of yoga, uh, staying active through the day. If I cannot train, I cannot work out, I make sure I eat right. My eating is perfect then for that week. I don't make a mistake because, Christ, I'm shooting long hours. I don't have the time. I'll do it. If I need to, I will push in that 10, 15 minute, uh, minutes of, of workout that I have. Be conscious when I walk, conscious about my core, conscious about my food. And I think automatically that discipline comes in. And because I've been disciplined, uh, you know, I also take up challenges. When I was, when I hit 50, I said I'm going to be fittest when I'm uh, when I hit 50. Now my target is next year when I hit 60, and you know I can officially get a 50% off on Air India uh, as a senior citizen. Uh, <laughs> I will make sure that I doubt fitting. that they may doubt that. Uh, that I don't I think want anybody would that. believe that you're 60. But, no, but I want I, so fit. Thank you, but I want them to doubt that also. At the same time, I want people to believe that shit. If he can do it, we can do it here. Yeah? Because there's no rocket science to what he does. He eats right. He trains right. He does yoga. He is uh, positive. Has my I have my highs and lows. You know, uh, when you when, when you are stressed. But then uh, mind over body, mind over mind also, uh, and uh, and your feelings. Mentally, if you feel ki no, yar, forget it. Ye ye ab itne din ke liye last hoga mere saath. Uske baad main waise bhi bhool jata hu. I overcome it or fight it. Let me forget about it and fight it. So I very, very strongly believe that being very strong in the mind and having good friends, good company, family support, important. I know it, it, it means everything, but I've been fortunate enough because I've been living with my parents. Even after I lost my father, you know, I'm living with mom. Uh, all of us are together. So there, there's some kind of sanity here and uh, the right behavior. Absolutely. I remember meeting you for the first time and you know your father-in-law wasn't well and you yeah. said you know Anurag, i need to reschedule because i need to go and see my father-in-law so yeah, you know i remember and uh, it was absolutely i loved that about you so coming back to entrepreneurship now um you've been reinventing yourself you started as an actor you became a producer uh, of course because your father uh, was an entrepreneur in the true sense of it as you said, you observed him and learned from him. Now, for all the entrepreneurs tuned in, uh, if there was some advice you had to give to them, you've already given some advice in terms of being honest, being disciplined, uh, uh, staying in the game long enough, being resilient. But if there was some other inputs that you had to give to entrepreneurs, what would those be? A balance today. Today, it's a balance of tech and, uh, and human. You know, uh, you have to bring in tech. You have to think uh, 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 what what the generation today is thinking and the way the generation today is working. Uh, bring in youth. Uh, bring in smart kids. Have a year. Listen uh, more than talk. Listen. I think listening is very, very, very important. And that's what excites me when somebody somebody is making a presentation. I'd probably not say a word. Uh, but then add only where I believe I can add value to it. Other than then, I let go and say, let's make, if you're making the mistake, doesn't matter. Let's make that mistake and learn. But uh, I know that you're, uh, you're doing good. So I think uh, uh, combining the right people, not keeping it top heavy, you know, definitely not keeping it top heavy, believing that uh, effort uh, and, 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 uh, and hard work and, and consistent reading, research is very, very important. Uh, because it's all cutting edge now. Uh, you know, tech has taken things to an absolute different level. Uh, so they're downsizing uh, from a, a point of view of unnecessary expenses. What is required is what is required. Manpower is required. Keep that manpower. But all the, the frills and all the other fancies can be, can be done away with. We don't need uh, offices that, 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 that a million people can fit into. You know, today, like you said, it, uh, you've realized that working from home can also be as productive. Absolutely. You know? Possibly and more productive. Absolutely. Because see, now the focus is you and me. 
Otherwise, I would be probably looking into a phone or, or you know, uh, looking at something else. We'd be talking about tea and coffee and, 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 and wasting time. But here, it's being productive. And the whole idea is about being productive and, and, and believing in yourself. But definitely getting in tech and youth into your, uh, into your uh, organizations. So they, they, they give you that edge. They definitely give you that edge.